You know, he did work for the Miami Aquarium, and my favorite story he ever told me was he wanted so badly. You know, when he wanted to be a guide, he, he contacted Stu Apt and made flies out of carpet and stuff. And just, I mean, I'm talking about he's like 12, and he's, Stu is his hero, and he's contacting me, he's sending Stu these flies he tied. And, and so you see what kind of guy Jose is when his mind is on something, he wants to be a guide. Well, he wanted to work at the Miami Aquarium. Okay, he's basically just cleaning up. He's a young guy, like 16, 17, 18, I don't know. But he's basically just the hired help to do whatever nobody else wants to do. But Jose is on these people all the time. Let me, let me train something. Let me work with this, you know, the, the dolphins. Let me work with the sea lions. No, Jose, no, Jose. So finally they said, how about the otters? Can I work with, they go, Jose, you can't train otters. He goes, no, I can work with otters. He goes, oh, I'm, tell I'm telling you, Jose, you can't train otters. These people told him a couple times. You, you don't get it about otters. He goes, please, let me. He goes, so on his own, he's going to train these four or five otters. So he brings food in and stuff. And he goes and he's trying to begin working with these otters. And the otters come around the food. Now, you have to kind of picture this, a young, young Jose. And he says, all of a sudden, the first otter latches on to him here. The second otter latches on to his wrist here. And then two other otters attack his ankles, and they've all bitten him pretty good. So he's got otters hanging on him from everywhere, and he's running as these other trainers come and see Jose running across the floor with an otter hanging off of each spot. And to me, I mean, that's just classic Jose, that... He probably went on and ended out training otters as far as I know, but that is classic Jose of, I'm going to do this anyway, and he'll, he'll figure a way out to do it, but along the way, you'll get some of the funniest stories that you <laughs> ever could want. Uh, you know, he trained sea lions, and he had a sea lion. This animal hated Jose, and finally, one day, he said the animal charged him, and Jose now he's a, been training for a while, a younger man, but very strong. Sea lion attacks Jose. I mean, up, doing that screaming arr, 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 kind of thing in his face. And Jose had to catch the thing by each side, by its ears, basically, and cheeks. And just, I mean, the thing's driving into him while Jose's kind of kneeing it in the chest and just going, no, no, no. And then finally, that sea lion got the message and took off. And from then on, Jose and the sea lion got along famously. But that is the kind of guy Jose was with animals. I mean, he was unafraid. He was confident in what he could do and just a different kind of guy. And I think that came through in his TV shows and everything else. When you see him diving out in the middle of the ocean with sailfish all around him and stuff, that's cool stuff, man, but not a lot of guys have the moxie to go ahead and do that. And uh, that's Jose, simply the most adventuresome guy I ever knew.